Hello everyone, I'm Fatima. If you're anything like my kids, I know you don't like vegetables. So, today on Animal Studio, we're going to turn vegetables into fun and yummy animals. Does that sound good? Hungry? Curious? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. So, we're all set for our vegetable animals today and I have Rohani here who will assist me. Hi! Is that what we are going to make? Yes, today we make a brinjal penguin and a cauliflower sheep. Oh, that's so cute! For cauliflower sheep, we need cauliflower, olives, toothpicks, googly eyes, super glue and a knife. I have a joke. Can I ask you a joke? Okay. What happens when we cross a dog with a rose? I don't know. Do you get a barking dog? No. It's a cauliflower, a dog is a collie and a rose is a flower. Okay, you guys are too good, really. We're going to cut the sheep bodies from the cauliflower. I'm going to cut two or three maybe and have a herd of sheep, right? So turn it over and cut out little florets. Guys, remember we're using a knife to cut these, so don't do this alone ever. Always take the help of an adult around you. This looks a bit like a cloud. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Our second sheep, which I'm going to pull out. Here's our second one. And our third one. Third one, that's right. You know what sheep say? Ba. Yes, that's where we get ba ba black sheep from. So with the body of our sheep ready, we move on to the next part, which is the head. What are we going to use for it? We are going to use olives, alright? So okay. how we start is, we take a floret and we insert a toothpick in. Should be quite easy to do, right? We'll do it all. Yes, we can take a black olive next and simply poke it. Moving on to the second one, which Rohani is going to do. I'm going to take yet another cauliflower, a floret, insert another toothpick, and Rohani makes a head. That. We're going to attach googly eyes onto the olives now. I'm using super glue for this. One on either side should do. There you go, Rohani. What do you think? It looks nice. Yes? Would you like to try your hand at sticking some now? Take one. Here. Let's put some glue on. Okay. Great. Excellent. These two are ready. Should we get our herd done? Yes. Yay! Our herd is ready and they're busy eating. Are they? Yes. But you know what? I have a question for you. What is it? Now you know what a group of sheep is called. It's called yeah. a herd, right? Yeah. But... We're making a penguin next. Do you know what a group of penguins is called? Um, a herd, a pack, I don't know. It's actually a trick question. They're called different things at different times. When they're on land, it's called a waddle or a colony of penguins. And once they get into the water, they're called a raft of penguins. Oh, that's so confusing. Can we just make one? Right away. Let's get started with what we need for the penguins. We start with brinjal penguins. Brinjals, a knife, carrots, googly eyes, toothpicks and super glue. So we're going to start off on a brinjal penguin. You're using a bengan. Yes, who thought a bengan can be fun? No one. <laughs> so we'll start by snipping off the base of the bengan so that we can make it stand. And you cut the base if you want it leaning or standing however you want it. I'm going to do a slightly slanted one. Our bacon is now standing. Next, we need to make the belly of the penguin, but please do not use knives. Have an adult do this for you. With the belly done, we move on to the flaps of the penguin. For this, you turn it to the side, the flaps on the side, right? So, we'll make small incisions, maybe like three-fourths of an inch. 
that is it and now moving on to the other side at the same level and you can roll it up just a little bit with your fingers to have it standing up there you go cool then the flaps of the penguin so with that done we move on to the feet and the beak of the penguin what are we going to use for that we're going to use sturdy slices of carrot for this one we start with the beak we're going to use the outer orange ring of the carrot simply make a triangle that's all quite simple one this side and one incision on the other so we have our beak there and now for the feet remember penguins have webbed feet so we work like this so we start by making a small triangle and we pull this one out next smaller incisions to give it that webbed look discard the second web and now that we have a couple of webbed toes are those toes yes aren't they looking like toes yes a little bit okay moving on to the next foot so we give the other foot a webbed look here we have our webbed feet for the next step we have bits of toothpick and with our things ready here we take the beak first and the flat part we insert the toothpick and simply attach it to the face of the penguin it's quite soft so it should go in easily just like this. make it go right in wonderful excellent the beak is there with the nose set take a bit of the toothpick insert it on the back of the carrot and ruhani you can place the body of the penguin onto the feet okay. onto the base excellent wasn't that easy yeah and what do you think is missing now eyes yes that's the only thing missing we're going to put some glue and have ruhani stick the eyes we've got two cute googly eyes two little dots and ruhani time for you to shine wonderful and there it is yay a penguin is ready doesn't it look cute yes my penguin doesn't like to be alone that's why we made a waddle of penguins let's introduce it to our waddle sheep cauliflower is my least favorite food now i may actually eat them that's quite right you know if we make our vegetables a little more interesting it's great fun for the kids you can boil the cauliflower add some garnish put in some olives and it's such a fun thing for kids to eat should we run through the processes again for you to make them at home cut the cauliflower into florets make sure a part of the stem stays on for the legs Stick the toothpick into the cauliflower. Put an olive to form the head. Stick googly eyes on the olive. Cauliflower sheep is ready. You can place it on a bed of lettuce and make a herd of sheep. Cut the base of a brinjal. Create a belly by peeling a portion off. Cut two flaps along each side. Cut out a little triangle for the nose. Cut little triangles for legs. Using toothpicks, attach the nose and the legs. Put on googly eyes with glue. And a brinjal penguin is ready. We've done so much art but I'm hungry now. Should we make a ladybird snack? What is a ladybird snack? Well, it's just a cracker with some cheese and tomatoes. Mm, I could eat that. We start with the cracker and we put a nice big chunky dollop of cheese on it. I like cheese. Yes. That looks nice. So now the cracker and the cheese is ready. We'll place it right here. Next, we take a tomato. We cut it into half, which is this one. I have pre-scooped it out. So you take a spoon and you scoop out all the pulp inside, right? And then further, we cut it into a quarter. Cut it into yet another half. So it actually becomes a quarter. Like this. Depending on the size of the tomatoes, you decide whether you want to cut halves, quarters, further quarters, whatever. I'm going to cut this further once more, just like this. And now we simply have to put the tomatoes on our cracker, just like a ladybird. Now we grab an olive and we put it as the head of the ladybird. And for the antenna, we're going to use chives. Here you go. What do we do for the dots? 
We use little bits of cheese that we have cut out and we simply place them on the tomato which is actually the body of our ladybird. Just like this. Doesn't that look cute? Yeah, it does. I am feeling hungry. Me too. Hooray, we can eat these. Bye for now. Rahani and I are going to eat our ladybird snack because we are very hungry. I'll see you next time on the next episode of Animal Studio where we make fun animals with everyday things.